Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius that plays Stone, Micro, Mi, Microsoft Stone Can 2 Blocks. Uh, welcome back. Uh, I apologise for the very, very long episodes I did recently. I got carried away. So, hope you enjoyed those double feature picture shows. At the end of the last one, we said that what we really needed to do was go in over here. If you have a look over here. This whole contraption is not producing more seeds than it needs to because it doesn't. These things do not produce a seed when you harvest them, they give you the seed back that you created from them, but they don't produce another seed. There's no way of increasing that yield except through that one magical thing that we looked at called the phytogenic insulator. Let me type that in. Phytogenic. I have been gathering the materials for this thing. Let me show you what we've already got so far. We can make phyto. You can obviously see that I got as far as glowstone, and then I went, ah, interesting stuff to say. We will make one of these. We will make two of these. Uh, excuse me. I'm very bad with the maps, have you noticed? I apologise, but also not so much that it's a big deal. Uh, two of these, yoink, yoink, two copper gears, and then this lumium ingot here is... Oh, I need the third one, but that's okay. Uh, lumium is made from sand and lumium blend. Lumium blend is made from three pieces of pulverised tin, one piece of pulverised silver, and then energized glowstone bucket. I do believe that you can probably, uh, instead of this, just melt everything together all at once. Molten aluminium, alloying, you can put 250 miller buckets of energized glowstone, 36 of molten silver and 108 of tin. This is basically uh, 3 to 1 here, which is what we saw in the aluminium blend. Let's put that up. Aluminium blend. Uh, here we go. If we add that. Have a look at this. Uh, but the energized glowstone, so three to one of those, and the energized glowstone bucket. This is an awkward number <laughs> because um, one, I, I guess four of those plus four times that plus four times that equals a solid amount. I, I'm not really prepared to do the mathematics on that, but uh, 250 millibuckets is obviously a quarter of a bucket, uh, and this recipe here calls for one bucket, so I'm guessing that each of these is four times that is a quarter of a silver right so that's a silver and that's a quarter of it uh the other thing this did note to me is that if you go into alloying and look at more energized glowstone we can melt down these quite happily uh glowstone dust all these things but if we have a look at there was a thing i was looking at where's it gone let's go back a little bit uh, lumium, 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 lumium. When we look in here, and then in here, and in here, and then in here, uh, there's another way of doing it. There was another way of doing it. Where did it go? Anyway, the point is, <laughs> uh, you can, you don't need glowstone directly to do that. I believe that if we have a look, uh, basically one of the things I was thinking, just, just jump, jump to the point, glowstone. Uh, if we look at the uses of this, we can melt it down into some amount of uh, shift for buckets. 720 millibuckets. So we can uh, melt down this glowstone helmet for 720 millibuckets, a very useless amount of refined glowstone. Uh, refined glowstone? Oh, that's not what I want. Ah, that's a problem. It's good to know. <laughs> what can we use this for? Let's follow this track. Osmium refined os... Obsidian and glowstone is osgloglass, which is a thing that exists. I, that looks like the only use for this thing. You can cast it into a glowstone ingot, which you can then use to turn into a... back into refined. I was hoping that would give me energized glowstone, but it doesn't. Consumes cast. Yes, we know this. Uh, oh, there's a magmatic flob. We can do things with this. It's not interesting. Unfortunately, it's not interesting. I just noticed, basically, that we could do smelt these. Uh, this is the uses of that. Is there anything else we can do with that, for example? No, it all turns into a nugget, except for the other one. Okay, fine. Uh, if we have a look at the uses of glowstone, we can just put glowstone straight into here and get energized glowstone, which is different from this very strange uh, glowstone helmet thing that we've got. Is it the same for this? Is this going to be uh, refined? Yes, it is. Fine. Uh, we can put those into the repair thing to make sure we get a full amount of it, but we'll do that later. Let's take our glowstone. 
So we want to make this lumium blend, which is going to be energized glowstone bucket. Now there's two ways of making the energized glowstone bucket, or the energized glowstone. One of which is to just melt it in the uh, smeltery, which is grand because one block is a bucket. So one block of glowstone is a bucket of stuff, and this was probably a quarter, yes, a quarter of a bucket. So we should try this. Let's double check. Should we try this? Nah. We can we can multiply everything up by four. So it's going to be one tin. What am I doing over here? You've made the thing, even though they were right next to each other and I could have done it on the way past. Uh, one, three tin? Tin, 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 tin. Tin, tin, tin. One silver, silver. Uh, way more silver than tin, which is quite irritating. Oh, that's silver gear. I didn't do it. And then this. So if you turn this into a block, then these three components should be what we put into our Inca smeltery, which I haven't done any more work on over here. Um, it's just been what it is, really. Let's ramble this in here as we like it. Ooh, so quick. Appreciate that. So that's three ingos. Is that the right amount? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, we can speed this up. So I guess we'll see. This very, very slow to um, melt, considering it's kind of made of hot already. I guess it lives in the nether. I have myself a cup of tea. Don't. Let me forget to drink this cup of tea this time. At least before it goes cold. Coffee going cold, that's fine. Tea going cold, ugh. Why? And I don't understand, because iced tea is quite nice, but if you have a milky normal tea, a builder's tea, and you let it go cold, ugh. It's just unpalatable in the extreme. Come on, Glowstone. So, um, yes, I think we all know which one of us in this partnership here is the one responsible for me not drinking my tea. It's the one that is who didn't remind the other one to drink their tea before it went cold last time. We have four ingots of lumium, which is not a bucket. Not a bucket, not a uh, block. Let's go and get our cast, which is over here. How are you doing, by the way? Look at all this. Look at all this. This should be producing glowstone for us. So, very slowly... Um, ah, tempted to replace all this. Uh, I should probably update the mod pack. <laughs> It could quite easily be that this stuff is fixed now, um, but I, I, I don't know that. I can't be sure. This stuff is going to keep going and filling up these. Um, I do worry a little bit that when this fills up, I mean, it seems to be continuing to work. These things are disappearing. Um, when this fills up, why are you not locked? Uh, the, this is going to back stuff with the things that no longer fit. But that's okay. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All that needs is a few void, uh, a void, void vajudas. That'll be fine too. So this should just continue. Create lumium for us. We do need four anyway. So actually that was the right amount to make. So I totally planned that ahead and didn't just accidentally make four times the amount to make the four that we need. Uh, I meant to do that and you can't prove otherwise because I'm the streamer and you're the audience and I've already recorded it. So what can you do? Let's go back. Stacks. We'll make our, uh, Insulator. Take and take and hurrah. This can probably go downstairs, although <sighs> we do have power up here. Is it the sort of thing you just ram up there? Excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, Charlie, it's not. Um, please have some decorum. I was just thinking we could put it in the ceiling, but um, it's probably a basement thing. But I haven't made the basement yet. Uh, I've got a lot of those off-camera thingies to release, actually. Let's just put it here for now. You're gaining roofs, which is great. This is going to be for the what's name, and then this is going to be for the thingy, which is what we want. Um, we could just make it... Let's improve it with an Inferium seed, I suppose. So, what we were doing is we were making Fighter Grow. If we have a look at the uses of Fighter Grow... No, let's have a look at the uses of this, because this will tell us in the Fighter Gen Insulator. We've got 105% chance with... Uh, rich fighter grow, but 100% chance with normal fighter grow. Uh, rich fighter grow is made with rich slag and wood chippings, which we haven't actually got around to making yet. I think. Uh, and then the flux fighter grow is the same thing, but you put it in energetic infuser, of which we have one. Um, of one, yeah, that's right. Yeah, what are we talking about? And, and some nitre. So I haven't really got these things just yet. So let's use the normal. Um, can I just make this now? Uh, excuse me. Go over here. By the way, I still think this is cool. So there you go. Well, I've got some. So heck you. 
keep dragging by accident because of the way my mouse thing is. So there's four of those and one of those. And then this is going to work. Oh, Miller buckets of what? Excuse me? <laughs> what was I not looking at just now? In the phytogenic inside, we need a Vasa. Vasa, if you need. Uh, let us make another sunk. Wink. Excuse me. Brain. Sunk. Uh, okay. Give me some clay. Have we just got clay? Clay. Clay. Yes. Got loads of it. Just make a stack. I have no qualms with how much we waste right now. Put this in here. This is nice and quick. Go back. And by the time we're back, we'll be able to make our sunk. Sunk. Click, click. And then a end of fluid. Yes. Might not need one, but let's bring it just in case because the sink can just sit. I didn't need to do that because I can just put it not here. Hello? Why am I here? <laughs> in some versions of the morph mod, being a bat does grant you the ability to fly. It's not that version. It may be that version, but it's probably not activated for stone block. Why wouldn't you? Oh, I've got no stone in there. Give me some stone. Stone. Right. Let us continue where we were. Uh, if I put this here, you might just work. I allow you to by doing this. How do I put? Well, you don't. Uh, give me this back then. Pop. And here, and then you can still have the bottom one. I. What color are you? <laughs> are, you just, are you red? You never actually got highlighted. Did you see that? I mean, we just do that. That might work. Uh, give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Track rest zone always active. Oh, that's working. Oh, excuse me, working. And then this is doing the thing. So we will see what's going to happen is this, when it finishes its thing, as long as there's phyto grow in here, we will get the result of growing the seed, which is one inferior essence, and then the seed back. And that's a 100% chance to get that. If we upgrade this to rich phyto grow, we have a smaller chance that we will receive a second seed, which is what we want. So it's only a small chance. Um, if we. Seed will tell us. Uh, when we use rich phyto grow, we have 105%. We've got five, 1 in 20 chance that we get another seed. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase that chance by first going all the way up to uh, flux phyto grow, and then we're going to have a look at the thermal... Oh! Man. Uh, and have a look for the... This one, auxiliary sieve. And of course, that is going to require that we increase the level of the phytogenic insulator because we can't put an augmentation in here just yet. And if we can put enough auxiliary sieves in there, it's going to massively increase the chance of this. Although I don't know if it will actually tell me what that chance is. Let me get this out. And then I'll be back in a minute having prepared for the next step rather than making you watch me do everything for the next 40 minutes. Well, it turns out I remembered by finding out that if we look for sawdust in here, I had it on craft. So we can make eight, um, eight sawdust with one piece of wood by chucking it in the pulverizer. And then our um, upgrade, this is the thing we need to make it possible to have a thing. We just need one bronze gear, uh, which means we need more bronze. And then stone gear, and then that goes in there. Bronze is easy. Uh, that's not bronze though, is it? No. Uh, it is going to be a stone furnace, bronze plan. Uh, we can't do that. Uh, bronze is... Oh, have we got anything bronze that we can just... I don't know. Uh, it, it's three copper and one tin. If you throw three copper, Cooper gets six. It's going to make plenty of it, but who cares? We also need more of that, by the way. <laughs> Everything we are low on. Uh, excuse me. Uh, we are low on many things. And, and this is kind of why we're doing this. Obviously, iron is accounted for, but... 
Yeah, not not everything is accounted for right now. So uh, you get out of there. You go in there. Why are you? Oh, you're just making an infinite amount of that, were you? Ah, yes. You are exporting stone and sand. I remember. I should have used the other one. That's okay. This doesn't crash horribly when you do that thing. So not like the uh, slightly annoying energetic confuser. Oh, hi, Wolf. Energetic confuser over there. Um, yes, we were making a upgrade. Uh, there's an upgrade kit, so we can actually do a couple of... Uh, oh, 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 it's all... Okay, no, we can't. Uh, Right? Lumium, yeah. Meh. Uh, we've got this. That's all we need for now. Hi, googly eyed pig. You are also very helpful. Good job, me. And then we want our. Oh. One of my preparations in future is going to be to uh, get a keyboard that I can actually type on. If we put this in here, we will find that it still doesn't tell us. That's fine too. Um, let's go and upgrade this Phyto Grow, which we can now do. Phyto Grow is this. Excuse me? How much slag do we not have? We can. Can we have a load of slag? Hmm. I thought we were making this by doing that. Can we not upgrade? I thought we could upgrade slag into rich slag. Can we not? Normal slag. Slag. Play. Dirt. No, no. Uh, it's just normal fight go. I kind of got it wrong, didn't I? Rich slag. How are we going to make this? A good question. 15%. 75% by putting cinnabar with gold. It's actually um, something we have quite a lot of. No? Oops, I'm already in here. Cinnabar. Oh, I've got some. That's Thorncraft. Is it the same one? You stabilize redstone ore. We don't actually have any. I've been breaking this apart a lot, the destabilized redstone ore, but I've not been picking it up with silk touch, which means I don't have any. Uh, native cinnabar cluster does give cinnabar from thermal foundation. And redstone itself. Okay. 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 Uh, wasn't prepared back in a minute. Right. <laughs> Stuff on the internet is wrong, and it may be wrong because this is an old version of the pack. Maybe new version of the pack or it may be that they have changed the configs so that finding uh, sap is difficult but the way you do it you look for phyto grow wrong way phyto grow and then we have a look here the other thing we can do is add sap to phyto grow to make rich phyto grow how do we make sap resin funnel what is resin funnel it's a specialization of the sawmill and also flu to be extracted from logs additional energy specialization um, we can also do it here. Well, it says here, but I don't think it's true. Uh, because you have to have the resin funnel. So it's basically this thing in that thing. Fine. Okay, so we make a sawmill, which I have crafted the pieces to do, except for that piece, which is there. So we make a sawmill. Fine. And we will create a resin funnel. Uh, no. There we go. And that's you. And then we need these. And then that's this. And then that. We've run out of copper. But that's okay. That. Right. Let's get this stuff downstairs, which may be noisy. Hold on to your breaths. Yep. It's noisy down here. Uh, you go here. And then you. The other thing we need to do. Make a hardened upgrade kit. Again, so there's another flipping bronze flipping gear, which means we've got any bronze, no doubt. Uh, do we? No, no. So bronze is going to be tin and copper, which is a good thing I made a whole bunch of copper. One, two, three, 
do that much right now. Tin. Um, we've got a lot of copper on the go. I just throw it into that machine. <sighs> We're going to need more. Go in there. Bling. And then you go in here. Bling. Faster. And then what? Bronze. And then just deal with it. Uh, okay. Stacks, please. Bronze. One, two. There we go, and then we are making a hardened upgrade kit. Oh, I'm all over the place. It's so difficult being me. Uh, you, then we go back downstairs, and then we upgrade you, and then we put you in it. And now we have a thing. Oh, thank you. Now we have a thing that will, when introduced to logs, produce not only sawdust, but also resin. So we can take this. We could probably stand to make another interface. Otherwise, we have to do a whole bunch of annoying stuff. Just craft on. If I make this go, have we got this stuff? Yes. Uh, that will be available at some point, no doubt. Let's get some wood out of the stacks. We want to. Also, we've got a couple of things still making wood that we haven't introduced into the, uh, the system. We should probably do that. If I whack this in here. And I don't know if this will void itself. We do get sap and sawdust out of it. So we get 12. Hmm. Because this makes 8 sawdust with 1 oak wood. This makes some sawdust with 1 oak wood. And 1 sawdust with 1 oak wood. But also makes oak wood planks. Can I make sawdust out of oak wood planks? Uh, pulverizer. Nothing in here. <laughs> we could try it. Let's just whack this in the pulverizer. Uh, in here, don't do anything. Make a sawdust. I don't know if that makes sawdust. Uh, you stop this for a while. It does make sawdust. So we can make three sawdust with one oak plank by making. I don't like it, honestly. Um, this might as well be the way we make sap. I mean, it really comes out slowly, that's the trouble. Uh, also, we probably want to make an energetic infuser, that's fine too. Do I need you? I don't think so. We have an energetic confuser. That's not what I meant. I meant a fluid transposer. So you can be allowed to go back and were, um, but I'm not going to do that anymore. I might as well just put this in here because of reasons. Uh, good. So we, uh, we'll make sawdust that way still. This can be used to make sap with a side order of sawdust sort of on top of it. Um, kind of means I want to put it somewhere. I'd rather consolidate the use of these because I'm getting a lot of them. I don't like it. Ah, uh, but also I don't want to waste these, right? Let's pick you up. I think that's what we're going to do. So now we need to do it. In future, we won't need to do it so much. Now, I did create an interface I know. Uh, hammer. I don't want to call it a crescent hammer when it's clearly a wrench, but okie dokie. It's probably engineering for you. This up. Give me that. I assume you're going to empty your tank as a result of this. Actually, realize it's not something that I want to happen. You... Go. Of course, we need leadstone. Just one, but we need it. Just one, but we need it. Right, you are empty. Do this again. Uh, I would rather that you made more of this and possibly more of that. That's actually going out of the bottom, which is kind of really helpful. Um, you can do. Nothing. And then out the bottom. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, and then what we can do is we can make a fluid transfer. Ah, no, I need to. Let's see how this goes. Trans. Trans. Huge. Which is easy to make. These. We're going to need several of these. Usually three per machine, I've noticed. I'm going to run out of metal soon, I've no doubt, but that's okay. One of these. Can actually make this. Excuse me? Excuse me, baking powder? Well, he's out of metals. I've got plenty of iron. In this form. <laughs> it's not the form we want. Not even my final form. Man, you're noisy, saw machines. Far away, and I can still hear. Uh, not you. I want 
Where is my actual useful thing? You can just go here. Uh, please. Game. You're killing me. Uh, <laughs> gotta be somewhere. Where's my casting basin? Casting basin? Basin? Ah, I'm losing my head. I'm losing my sight. I'm losing my mind. I wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Let's just jump from here. Why are you not in here, though? Basin. Yes. I'd just be able to make one. Yes. There you are. What? Why didn't you show up when I did at Tinker? You horrible man. Go and then fill you with stuff and good and then iron soon. Uh, <clears throat> so we were making <laughs> something we can't make. <laughs> um, let's say we were going to make a fluid transposer, which means we then wanted. Well, we're going to need some more. In a minute, we will have some iron of this day. Oh, it kept going, probably because um, it had places to put its stuff. That was 440 of 4,000 millibuckets. So it is not very much per thingy, but we can probably make a thermal upgrade to reinforced. <laughs> There's electrum, which is gold and silver. We can do that. I'm just going to knock it out of the things over here. Gold, silver. None of either left. Because I accidentally picked it all up. Okay, fine. Uh, I, I thought I was doing it right, but I was not doing it right. Do you all know? Four, four, go back. Have you made my thingy yet? Probably some of it, right? <laughs> Turn this into this. Way. Right, we were making a fluid. Every time. Flu fl fl <sighs> Excuse me? This. One of these. These. Oh! Even not running out of copper. Blue transposer, grand. And then. Go away. Okay. You can go away. And you can go away. And then. Oh! Pulverized copper. Could have made more copper. Uh, done with that. Upgrade kit. There is one resin and all I want. I want this and then this and then this. The reinforced. The reason for this is that we also want. Ah, before we do it. Ah! It's so difficult to use. Oh, uh, nope. Oh, then we want to make another one of these. Which is these. <clears throat> Excuse me, nice and easy. Ah! <sighs> What did I make out of two bronze? That means that you have to be this cool and mean. I didn't even bring my copper. Oh. One, two, three, four, six. Tin. Two, do more of that. I'll probably do that off camera. Just chuck them in that machine. Go. Uh, induction shelter. Go. Go, go, go. And we'll upgrade this. Like this. Now we have room for two augments, which we want, because now I should pro probably put another crafting terminal down here, huh? Uh, bronze here and here. Like this. It should help us by, at the very least, increasing the amount of sawdust we get. I'm hoping that it will increase the amount of resin that we get per operation as well. So let's get a stack of this. Yoink. All right, two stacks. Yeah, I clicked once, but see so. I think I'm gonna sneeze. How how do you feel about that? So this used to be I think that was ten per, right? So let's put one in. Oh here it goes. <coughs> it didn't help. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Maybe there's another one we can make. Um Destroy his excess secondary outputs, don't need that. Again a different food, don't need that. Specialization, specialization. 
nope. Uh, nope. I don't think we can necessarily get more sap out of it, which I guess is okay. It's not like wood is in short supply. What is in short supply is my patience. So uh, we will put this here, boom, and then configure this so that on the in... This is going to be this tank. So my only choice. Ooh. Okay. And on the outside, we're going to have there we go. So you are... <laughs> uh, just stop. Everything will just stop. Uh, I want just... Oh. And then on the bottom, we're going to have that and that. Oh, that'll do. Whatever. This has got some stuff in it now. So if we're going to get our phytogenic Guzma Jubes... Phyto... That. Now we can make rich phyto. Oh, what a palaver. Ta da! So I do have a thought about this situation, which is that maybe we should do uh, this. Didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Um, is there a liquid trans. There is. Hmm. This intrigues me. Because I, I would like to try it. Go up here. Trans... Trabs... Lun... This is just too hard. I don't know why I'm trying. So there's an item one that we've got there already. Make a liquid one. Uh, fine, very well. I uh, thought we would have to try harder than that. Game, okay. you're slacking. Uh, and... But and up, and up. Okay. and then on the top you will now accept oh, it's working blue there we go and then on the side you'll also accept blue you should just be blue there we go so now you you no longer should be any particular way how do i reset you <laughs> this uh boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 and then if we tell this that to make rich phyto grow, we just need to put stuff in there. I'm hoping that it will know what to do. So, rich phyto grow is that's the right one. Huh, well done, me. Uh, this I have no patterns. <laughs> After. Make patterns? No, we have no iron. This is so pesky. I, I, I've done this to myself. I fully recognize this. Don't let me kid you into thinking that I could not have probably finished this by now had I just um, bothered to make things the, the proper way, but where's the fun in that? Uh, okay, let's just... Five. We could have been way ahead by now is what I'm saying. There was two there. Ah, never mind. Put you in there and then write that pattern. So I believe... If we were to put this in here, and then we also teach it how to make phyto grow, right? So plain phyto grow, which is crafting mode, it should just be this. Audit is allowed, and then we can shove that down here. That's just a crafting pattern, not there necessarily, but in here. Oh, what I meant? <laughs> well, no, I meant. Uh, can you now make phyto grow? Please make a fighter grow next. Start. Oh, great. Please now do this. Next. Start. I would expect it to take a minute because it needs to fill it up. I'm not sure where it's put that. Oh, it isn't here. But you've got another output. Uh... You should be. Everything? <laughs> I want you to be in and out. Why can't you be in and out? <laughs> uh, everything? Will that work? I believe that means everything. If I now ask for another one of these. In. 
No work, the kitchen amazing. Right? Not up here to want to allow me. What? Ah, this is empty. We need to make sure we keep this supply up. And then this will fill up with. Oh. Uh, 100? How much do we need? How much do we need? 140? 150. Any advance 150, 170. I'll s call it 200. Even 200. How about that? Yeah? Okay. Aha! And you disappear. Output. 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 Oh! Ah! Blue and orange. Even though red was that colour. Uh, <laughs> Fine. We have automated rich phyto grow. <laughs> so now, not this one. Where are you, greenhouse? I need to make this easier to step on. We can put this in here. With this. And now we have a chance, a decent chance, I think. The more of these we put in, the better the chance. Uh, a decent-ish chance that this and that will turn into... Because that's 105% chance to begin with, plus a bit more. So the only, only other thing we need to do now is extract this out of here and make sure that goes in there. Um, what we're going to do is we can probably just extract it into itself, but the interesting thing is how do we get it into there? Uh, it's not in the right place, really. We could, do, we could do a better job. So that's that. And then, of course, the final thing we can do whilst we're here, just to finish off this episode slightly longer than normal, is... <laughs> As if there's a normal. This is the new normal. Is to energetically infuse it, which is here. We whack this in here and let it. Oh. Lux fighter grow. But this is the best stuff. This is the top tier. And with that, maybe we can watch it actually. How about you uh, get on with it? How many faster? Two! Haha! <laughs> so now we can put it in again. So now all we need is for it to recycle itself, right? And then eventually it will back stuff. And there will be nothing left. Just use all of its water, so we would like probably that to refill a little bit faster. I don't know if this fluid conduit is the fastest, to be honest. Well, it's probably not. We only got two back again, but... You know, that, that that's not going down. That's only going up. And of course, we run out of phyto, but you get the idea. That is how we're going to reproduce those things. In fact, I'll take one out and just take them both out and put them down here. There we go. And you can get growing. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry it was a little bit longer than usual, but I wanted to get things finished. So I'm going to sign off really, really quickly and say thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.